Efficient Math Teachers. Um, just wanted to come in and show you a quick tutorial on creating precise angle measures. For instance, if you wanted students to practice with a protractor or if you were creating um, any sort of resource that you wanted them to have the uh, angles with exact measurements, um, then this would be a really helpful tool to know how to use. I would just start by inserting a ray, um, and it never works out that I end up getting it exactly horizontal, but if I look up here at the height this time, I actually did. I would adjust it to the height and weight that I like. I prefer these little arrows on the end rather than the triangles. Again, I never seem to get it right on the first time. I usually end up slanted slightly, um, but if I do, it's fine. Just go to height and adjust it to zero and it will be perfectly horizontal. So that's one side of my angle. Um, to get the other side, I would just do control C, control V to copy and paste. And then from here, I would go to the format shape feature to the size and over here there's a rotation tool where you can um, adjust it by degrees and so if I wanted to make let's say a 31 degree angle um, I can go up or down with it whichever way it does not matter in the end because you can adjust your angle um, then I would just attach those at the vertex right there together and then I would have a 31 degree angle. You can go all the way up and um, let's just do for a quick show a 90 degree angle um, even though this would probably not be your quickest way to create a right angle. You can do it. You can go on up to make any sort of angle that you would like. Um, let's stop it. Let's just do a 140 degree angle just because and then attach those there to create my you know if i want to move this obviously i'm off of the slide i would need to uh, group them so i just highlight both of them and then control g is a grouping feature and then if i go to adjust it it's going to not do very well so what i do and I talk about this in another video, is I lock aspect ratio, and then I can drag the corners and it creates the same angle, no matter how I enlarge or reduce it, it will create, it will keep that 140 degree angle. Then I can turn it, make it however I'd like for it to be on the page, and um, label it with angles or points if I need to. Um, and then I've got any, angle of the exact size that I would like and if I printed this out and used the protractor on it it would match the 140 degrees so you have a precise angle um all right that's all thanks for listening bye bye